Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Mm, saltily. Yes, very saltily. Whether that be with our attitudes or with the salt we collect, you decide. Uh, I personally never get salty. No, I'm just no, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're back in Salt and Sanctuary today and uh, here to explore some more stuff. What well, we, we did last time was the, the sunken ground. wastes or whatever. No, uh, we did Castle of Storms. Uh, oh, that's I right. I believe is where we are right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that treasure chest. All right, let's go over here. We're just going to grab a couple of things out of here before we head out. Yeah. Now we're going to have to deal with this big dude down here. Oh, yeah. Uh, These guys. Hey, right, buddy. Yeah. I wonder if I can... Uh, Whoa. Oh, okay. That's a platform. All right. <laughs> Ow. Got the skull. All right, good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Right away. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I got teleported and then smashed into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My B. Oh, that was funny. All right. <laughs> I'm wearing a silly pumpkin head. I mean, how oh. serious is the situation, really? Oh, that's okay, fair. So, you punk who? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I farm these guys. I always forget how much I do not like them. They got some strong hits for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> Oof. This guy's hit really hard. Yep. Oof. There we go. Nice. Alright, good. <sighs> A jagged key. Okay. So there's some stuff up here. Let you grab that. Mm. All right. Ooh. Drop back down here. Damn, that was scary. And down one. Yeah, careful of the little switches on the floor. Oh yeah. Ah. Titan gauntlets. Great. Yeah, so the Titan set is pretty solid. It's got very high, the equivalent of poise. I believe it's balance in this game. Hmm. Um, so it's pretty solid. This, that's all we need out here. So we can go back up top and, uh, pop back out. Okay. Blacksmiths. Light. If justice. Ah, uh, can't wear them. Titan. Massive iron plate greaves. I think Titan set is... Class four heavy ah, armor. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, we gotta go through this one, right? Yeah. yeah. To the top, you say? Yeah, we can head back up here. Uh, there's a little bit more. Is there anything? No. Nope. Well, I'm trying to remember this. So there's that over there. Yeah. All right. We we behold my gigantic fork. All right. 
The Fork of Doom, He-Man! I have the power! Okay. That's what I think of you guys. I love that, like, running poke that hits twice. Oh, yeah. Really good. Ow. Alright, now I'm trying to remember there's a room in here that we have not done. Oh, you know what we can do, actually? I think I remember where it is. Um, oh, alright. Let's use... Mend. Let's go down here. And then... Uh, sure. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Alright. Over here. Now, if I remember right, this room in here. Maybe I was thinking of a different place. There's some room that had a split swordsman in it. It might be the bottom room. Oh. Nice. Yeah, let's go back to the bottom room. Alright, in uh, here. Oh. Ow! Yeah, never picked that up. Alright. Uh oh. Take care of him. Oh, still. That arcing sword hit is really nice for those. Okay, yeah, maybe it's down. Nope. All right, I can't find it. So, I was certain there's a room somewhere in this castle that has a split swordsman. This this is sort of the problem I have with Metroidvania is I can never remember all the little places where it's mm -hmm. like, ah, oh, come back when you have another ability. You know, That's it's fair. not in there. Um, I'll poke around for another second here. I don't think it's on this side. I feel like it's on that side, but one of those is a way to go forward. Maybe it is up top. Let's look up top one more time. If you can't find it, we'll just figure it out later. Ooh, you know what? I'll bet it is. Okay, yeah, let's look up here first. Over here. Mm -hmm. Gotta go different places. We're taking a tour back through the castle here. That's right. I think this is going to be the... Yeah, I actually need that, so... Y'all. Yeah. yeah! Oh. Yeah, let's go back down, because there's nothing else up there. That goes up to the boss, and that is all. Oh, there's no nothing on the other side of the boss arena? We did that. We came down this way. Oh, that's how we got way. here. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, come, come back down. Um... Okay, hang on. Let's wait on this one. It's not gonna matter. I need you. No. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. All right. Wah. Wah. All right. And whoop, wrong one. Oh nope, I got it. And then I fell. Okay. That's all right. We'll go up this side. Yeah, I gotta know what you what you're wanting to do there. Yeah, my bad. Um, go up here. <laughs> we'll go out here. I think this is what I was looking for. Yeah, this is it. Wait. Eh. Ow. Rude. Alright. We found it. Wall bounce. Split mask and split manifers. Split manifers was from the split swordsman. So, that's where the mask is. Uh, the mask is pretty decent. Um, uh... Class 3 heavy armor. Uh, I believe it uh, ups your equip weight. Hmm. Which is nice. Okay, so now let's go down this way. Goodness. Up, up down, right. up down, up down. Yeah. Alright, hang on. 
Ooh. Oh, hey. Fancy. Yep. I'm the king of the world. Alright. Look who it is. Hello. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Well, hello, friend. What a nice safe spot here at IPR, did. I might see a lot of customers, but I could use the break. I have to sort my trinkets. Sort and trinkets. Color and shape. Yeah. You can buy the second level oh. of the regular and the evil, uh, like, hateful drawbone that you can buy from him now. Um, he does also sell stained pages, which are useful to have. Um, I'm actually going to look at my inventory before I... Does he even say how many... Nope. Hmm. You can really feel like you're in a thunderstorm with the sound design here. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, I like it. Stained page. Yeah, so normally those will buff your weapon with dark damage, or arcane, actually, but it's dark looking. Um, but they have another use, which we'll get into a little bit later. Hmm. Lord's bless. Lord's bless you, lad. Eh. Blow up your barrels okay. when you think about that. Well, then. Alright, buy more of those. Those will be good for upgrading armor. Yeah. Okay. Now we can go down here, pull that. And smack this guy. Yeah, just no, there's still much. When we fight hit hit those, I just kind of hope that I distract them long enough so you can stab them hard. Yeah, they are well worth farming for their shield, the Iron Rampart. Uh, I believe I've mentioned it before. It has pretty much perfect block of everything if you upgrade it all the way. Mm. This oh hey Scarecrow buddy, Scarecrow is back. Hey bud, it persists. Does it wish to know me? Sure. While they scurry to and fro. Yeah. While they cherish their petty deities, idols, and false lords. I ah, yeah. am. While they fight their trivial wars, live and die for mortal kings and scoundrels. Ah, yeah. All priests of false gods kneel to me. All kings of empires, great and small, kneel to me. Life kneels to me. Death kneels to me. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. That was a pleasant conversation. Yep, he's he's a good conversationalist, you know. Yeah, right. It's always fun. Okay. okay. I'm assuming a, a bit of an avatar of another force of some sort. That is what it looks like, isn't it? Red, Red Hall, Hall of, cages. of Cages. So this dungeon is a bit of a hub in some ways. Uh, if you look on the map itself, there are entrances and exits to several parts of the world. We've entered the Red Hall of Cages from a few other places like Bandit's Pass a couple of times already. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the formal entrance to Red Hall of Cages. So we're going to be able to actually play through this now. Gotcha. Is there a way to view the map? I didn't even... There is not. Okay. Oh, missed the map. Or missed the, missed ladder. the ladder, not the map. Good grief. Missed the map, yeah. missed the map. There is no map. Like the spoon. Anyway. But yeah. Um, there is somewhere uh, oh. people have done a community map of this where they literally took screenshots <laughs> of the game. Uh oh, interesting. Yeah, I was just gonna grab this real quick. You can go the other way if you want. Um, just actually, I wonder what would happen. Go, go that way real quick. I'm curious. Uh -huh. Yep, it put me upside down. Okay, I was wondering if it would do that. That's uh, interesting. 
Ah, okay. We'll be able to get, we'll be able to ride ourselves. All right, jump across this, I think. Oh yeah, okay, you can talk to him. <laughs> this guy. Look at mm -hmm. us, we're walking on the ceilings. Steady on, our heads are reeling. Roof, wall, floor, and an upside down door. Oh, now I'm over here. Ow. That's not what I meant to do. How right, well, we're, could we're, you? We're gonna flip it again, because we gotta get stuff up there. Patched right. stuff. Yeah, the patch set. Lightning storm, that is another incantation. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> I actually tried to press it, but we pressed it at the same time. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fair. There you go. Oh. Dragons high and dungeons low. Find the voice that scares the crows. Deep black hell and the darkness that there dwells. Island full of wicked things, shattered lands, and broken kings. Ruled, ruler, rule. Heed the wisdom of the fool. All right. Yeah. I like him. I like his little... Yeah, he's got little limericks and stuff. He's fun. E. So, uh, I know this world has got some lore to it, Dan. What, what, um, what's some stuff we could talk about here? Yeah, I mean, that's a very good question. First, let's get this sanctuary here. Oh, yeah, right. Claim it. Yeah, okay. Claim sanctuary. Yeah. So, one interesting thing uh, that I can talk about a little bit is the three. Um, so we can see them here. Uh, they're on the banners here, and I believe it's the king, the knight... I don't remember the third one. Um, but there is some sort of mage. It might be the mage. Uh, or the sorcerer. Um, so they are considered to be gods of a sort. Um... By this creed and uh, I always found that to be very interesting mm. and it gets more interesting as you kind of go through the game and interact with things it's just like wait a minute what exactly are these people worshiping and that's sort of a theme of the way this game goes is you know you you end up with more questions and you're just like what hold on a minute <laughs> gotcha. kind of thing um, which I personally find to be very fun um, Yeah, that, that's one thing to mention, uh, whereas Devara is more of an older god. The woman we met, who was in kind of the the white garb, the white priestess uh, garb, that was talking about how she has light in her mm -hmm. instead of salt. Um, it's very much a, a Devara-related kind of theological point. Um, which, again, kind of interesting... Uh, that you've got that sort of thing and these are religions kind of in the wider world so uh, when you go and you make a character in this game and you pick your origin you're picking from like nations around the world so different um, different places make your character look a different way you know there's like predominantly this this sort of feature from the people who live in certain areas right um, I always found fascinating right because one of them uh, looks relatively orcish right like with the greener skin yep. and mm hmm yeah there's there's an orcish looking one there is a one that's like really pale mm. um, and then there's I think there's one that's like uh, black skin I haven't looked at it in a while but yeah it's very interesting and, and by black skin I mean extremely like pitch black um, yeah, yeah, physically black. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's interesting. And then, of course, the um, the Iron Ones are essentially atheists, right? Mm. Um, they, they don't believe in the gods. They believe in steel, pretty much. Um, and so, not every creed has a god to it, you know? For example, the, the stone roots are more there in the forest, that sort of thing. Right. Um, and so, yeah, we actually, we are very close to another creed, 
um, that I'll just I'll, I'll get it out of the way if you know the creed that's coming. It's my favorite gameplay wise. Uh, it's the one I usually will default to. Uh, there is another one later in the game that I really like as well for optimizing character build. Um, but in my opinion, the one that's coming up is one size fits all. Um, in a way that the other one kind of isn't. It's more risky to play as. And then there is another creed. So we, we've encountered four creeds so far. There are a total of seven. Okay. Um, and so the one here will be number five. The sixth one we're going to encounter is one that is very good for mages to use. Um, and then the seventh one is kind of a risk reward type thing. Um, and they're all very powerful creeds. Um, in my opinion, these the latter three are really, really good. Talk to this guy. I already have a tooth shield, so I'm using. Now you have. To, now you have two. Yeah, that's true. This shield. Ha 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 ha. Tooth shield. You slayed the dragon, and I wasn't even there to help. Sorry. I suppose I need a new quest then. Very well. The ziggurat. Or should I head to the dungeon below the castle? My heart wants whatever lies in the ziggurat, but what it. But before it lies that wretched thing, a dome of the forgotten, a hollow place stripped, wretched with echoes of suffering and misery and pain and, well, hmm. perhaps you should head to the dungeon. As foreboding as it seems, I know it's less terrible than the cursed dome. Okay. Whenever you're scared and alone, remember that you are n your own hero. Oh, that's interesting. He's pretty cool. I like him. Um, let's go this way for a second. Uh, there's a little bit to this place that I find to be pretty interesting. So the backdrop uh, is really pretty. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's all good. I love this place. Uh, it's it's gorgeous. Uh, so uh, over here, and this is the choice he was just talking about. I can't remember if any of these have a hidden. I don't think that maybe they do. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of down here. Hold on. We got some treasure. That's uh, kind of a cool, like if you're if you're playing a fist fighter, that might be a cool like little blue robe you can use. Mm. Um, and then down here, fashion and know, sanctuary. Just, anyway, yeah, if you just want to use it, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the ruined temple. This is not a place we're going to be able to get to because there's this red force field in the way. Okay, so. Kind of interesting. Uh, keep that in mind for later on. Um, okay, nothing there. Oh, weird. Wall jumping. Um, <laughs> so we are about to get a choice here. Okay. Well, that's weird. Yeah. I'm going to pop in here. This is the Dome of the Forgotten. Um, this place is very interesting because of a oh. couple of mechanics. Oh, careful with this. Mimic! Yep. How dare you? I considered you. very briefly letting you get eaten by the Mimic, but I didn't. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you we for your kindness. Yeah. Alright, All so right. we can at least get the Sanctuary here. There is also an item on the left side that is going to be very awesome to get. Yeah. Ding. Alright, let's grab this real quick. Amber Idol! So, Amber Idol is a pretty solid um, alchemical uh, component that lets you make some interesting, good weapons. Um, mm. So, we can go to an alchemist at some point. Oh, hey, there's an alchemist out. here. Yeah, if you want to place one here, feel free. Uh, do we need the alchemist and the blacksmith together? Is that ideal? Uh, no, not necessarily. Okay. Uh, I mean, you have to teleport around if you want to go to a blacksmith, but... That's no big deal. Yeah, you can put whatever else you want here. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going to look at the... Alright, so let's look at a couple of options for transmuting. We have some options for transmuting headpieces in armor now. So the Sadist Veil. It comes from something we just picked up, the Vile Guard from the Red Hall of Cages. Um, shields can be transmuted. Uh, there's the Umbral Aegis. We have a Court Sorcerer's Ear, but not a Diamond Cluster. That is a higher level mm. transmuting item. Um, that's a cool shield, though. Like, Check out those stats. They're pretty solid. Uh, has really bad fire defense and not very good lightning, but everything else is pretty solid on it. Yeah, so. that is really good. 
Yep. Um, now let's see. Okay, Woodsman's Axe is an Amber Idol. Uh, let's see. We got any bows? Vile Hawk Bow. That's a Silver Leaf, though. And I'm trying to see. Kore Moa. Okay, yeah. So technically the Shrouded Bulwark and the Black Widow uh, are in, in reach here. I'm not going to grab either of these because neither of them's... Uh, themed for my character, but those are pretty cool options. Right, okay, so uh, since we're looking at this, what's the difference between slash and strike here? Okay, so that's interesting because basically there's two physical damage types, slash and strike. Um, some enemies take more damage from strike, some enemies take more damage from slash. So if you have a pure strike weapon and the boss usually resists strike, um, then you're going to be doing less damage. Okay. There are hidden attributes on some of these weapons that will um, change the balance. So, for example, I think the Shrouded Bulwark might have it balanced towards Strike, and so it's a 50-50 slash Strike, but obviously you do more Striking damage. Mm. Um, so we get to some of the weapons that we end up wanting to do. I'll go over it a little bit more, but in addition to like Swift Hitter and things like that, um, some of them balance a little bit differently than others. Uh, I've always found to be pretty interesting. So the obsidian pillar, if you want to use a great hammer, is a solid choice. Wow. So... There's a ton of stuff. Oh, the Karimoa's strength scaling is much higher than the... Yes. Okay, so I really shouldn't do anything with those weapons right now. Well, here's the thing. Um, if you look at the Karimoa, uh, it has higher strength scaling. Uh, with my current stats, uh, I get more slash than strike on it. Right. If you go to the Bulwark, 44.2 versus the 47.5, 15.8 versus 26.2. So the Bulwark actually uh, has more overall damage on it because it has higher base damage, I think, because the Karimoa starts from lower so that's an important thing about scaling in Salt and Sanctuary and Dark Souls, actually. Uh, there can be a weapon that has B scaling in strength, uh, or C, C in this case, that will outdo a weapon with S scaling because of the base damage. Okay. Well, this looks pretty similar to me. Maybe I'm not... Yeah, what does it look like for you? So 35.7, 65.4, yeah. So you would go more bludgeoning, but if you add them... Which isn't necessarily how the calculation works, right. but if you're just looking at a round number, uh, if you add them up, uh, the bulwark, I think, is slightly more. Uh, go back real quick. Yeah. That's like 86, 87-ish. And then the bulwark, I believe, was 60 plus 35, 95. Okay. So about 10 points. So, I don't... Okay. Yeah. So the slash strike here at the beginning, that's its base. Mm -hmm. Stats, and this is what it would be at Bulwark 3, since mine's a Kirimo of 4, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, you can feel free to do that. We are we do have access to a second Kirimo if you want to buy it from the either the merchant or the black... I think it's the blacksmith for the 3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Why not? It's pretty good. Giant swords. I mean, who doesn't want that? And there is a mechanic there that I'm, I'm sure you just saw um, where you will lose level of upgrade. Right. Uh, whenever you transmute. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's Buster Sword-like. Perfect. It's pretty cool. Perfect. Now yeah, I can, we can see pop what I'm doing. To, yeah, we could pop over to a blacksmith if you want to upgrade it back to four. I don't know if I have the materials for it. Let's go take a look, okay. I guess. Uh, what is it? Castle Storm says a blacksmith, or no? Yep. Is it? Yep. Yep. I think that black one it should be a blacksmith there on the right side of Castle of Storms. Yeah. We also just opened up another one that had a blacksmith. I think Red Hall of Cages has a blacksmith and a traveler. Yeah. Let's do that one. Okay. Yep. Uh, upgrade this. Yeah. I don't. I need a drowned locket. To upgrade it. Oh, I forgot. It moves it to the drowned. Okay. Makes okay. sense, though. Yeah. I mean, that's still solid. That's, yeah. that's going to be really good. Um, now, the other thing you may want to do, I would actually recommend doing this. Go to the blacksmith and buy a second Kurimoa. 
Okay. There's a reason I'm recommending you do that. Uh, uh, I think you will like is. it. <laughs> you can even buy two more if you want. Like, you know, have a couple of them floating around. <laughs> we'll just uh, stick with the one extra for now. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we'll talk about this when we get to it, but um, the three is a very rare creed in that it's one of two that you can buy more Kurimoas from. You will not be able to get more once we leave the creed oh. unless we go back to the three or the iron ones. Gotcha. So that's why I'm saying maybe grab a couple of them now. Like, that should be fine. Maybe. I think that many is fine. And this is just to give you options. It, it isn't going to really matter that much, but um, there's a reason I have two. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay. So now our options are we can start working on the Dome of the Forgotten. The Dome of the Forgotten comes in two stages. Um, so we can do the first part if we want and then leave and come back to it or we can uh, Start off with Red Hall of Cages, which I think Red Hall of Cages is more of the main game path I believe um, I've d I do Dome of the Forgotten a lot at the beginning because uh, I like the power-up you get from it Okay. Um, now I do have the spell Undersight which is going to be necessary in the dome because there are invisible enemies and you have to use Undersight for them to be visible, or you have to use a file of Undersight, which we picked up some uh, oh, walking. Oh, yes, true, we did. Walking into the dorm, uh, walking into the dome. So, yeah, I'll leave it up to you. The Red Hall of Cages does come up to a boss that is probably my least favorite in the game, but the dungeon itself is very interesting, mm. and it does lead us to a really good creed. Um, we can also do the first part of the dome and then come back to Red Hall of Cages or however you want to do that. Yeah. Uh, I would say let's do the dome. Okay. We'll at least do the first part of the dome. If we start to have trouble, we can leave and go back to the Red Hall. Yeah. And we're getting close on time, too, so let's uh, get yeah, some we'll of this in. Start it up. Yep. Yep. All right. Now I blew... Oop. I missed that jump entirely. Whoops. Ow. All right. Oh, <laughs> my turn. <laughs> now! Yeah. Now! Uh. <laughs> um... Yeah, so one thing I did want to mention is the Drowned Upgrade Path is sort of the ultimate upgrade path. Um, they're all pretty much like it's... Oh my goodness, sorry. Uh, every weapon has... A, yeah, just rest there, that's fine. I'll... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Tried. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. So every weapon will use a different kind of upgrade. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really bad at jumping. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get to talking about the weapon upgrade pass here in a second. Hold on. <laughs> Let me focus. All right, I made that one. Now I got to make this one. Okay. There we go. This guy. Ow. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> suck it! Uh-oh. Proud of that. Alright. Alright. Nice. Alright, cool. There we go. More files of understudy. Let me make sure this is still going. Okay. Alright. Paths. Yes. Upgrade paths for weapons. So, there is the frozen path that uses, like, frozen idols, frozen lockets. There is the flame one, which the weapon I started with, the iron pot, uses. There's your standard upgrade path, lock of hair, soldiers, soldiers poem, lord's orders, uh, king's orders. And then uh, there is the drowned upgrade path. Um, the and, Oh, and there's an evil one as well, but I don't really think of that one often because I don't use a lot. Gotcha. Um, we'll talk about the weapon we just picked up here in a second. Oh, I freaking... I'm the worst. Okay. Keep smacking them! You got this! Oh. Down idle. Ground idle. Nice. Nice. Very good. That's an upgrade material. Um, have to get you some of those drowned lockets. Upgrade your sword at some point. Okay. 
So what I'm trying to say is, final boss and other like late game boss weapons almost all use the drowned upgrade path. So it's one of the better ones. And under most circumstances, you can only get one of the top level upgrade for the drowned. Gotcha. Uh, path. So if you're wearing armor, because there is armor that uses the drowned path. All right, there is something over there, so we can make make our way across to the left. Yeah, I just didn't want to leave you behind. Yep. Like that. It's, it's okay. Oh, I can go ahead and go out there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. okay good. Now, if you notice, right here, there's some blue stuff up there. Yeah. We'll be able to do deal with that pretty soon. Ooh. Uh oh. Um. Whoa. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? All right. Keep going. Also, we just picked up a flintlock oh, pistol. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. You fell so far. I did. All right. Oh, okay. Cool. I did it right. Uh. Hey. <laughs> okay. So the flintlock pistol is of a particular weapon class that you can mostly, I think you can only offhand it. Um, and essentially, you these act like shotguns. It, it says it's a pistol, but they basically act like shotguns. Mm. Um, and so you can blast in specific directions, and they're really strong. <laughs> um, I would term them superior to crossbows. Crossbows have a bit more... That is not what I meant to do. A bit more range to them. You can fire them further. Um, bow and arrow has to be two-handed. Um, and those are all of the ranged weapon options. You go first. Oh my oh, gosh. No. Oh no. We might need to <laughs> call it for tonight. Yeah, we'll if try you want to wrap it up later. here, we can. Oh, good grief. All right, let's see if I can... Let's, let's just... try it? Okay. All right. Oh god. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is just going to be called uh, We Don't Jump Good. All right. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. One last Did try. Did you want to try again? Okay, try it again. I just want to get my salt this. back. It's all I really want. Yeah, let's do it. All right, well. Oh. Guess it doesn't matter it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it happened again. Oh, no. All right, well. <laughs> that's it for today. We'll try again <laughs> later when maybe my <laughs> reactions are better. Yeah, it's oh. all good. Some days you play and you're just like, oh, no, what have I done? <laughs> just quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. If you've enjoyed what you've been watching, please leave like, subscribe, all of that. It really helps us out with the algorithm. It helps us grow the channel so that we can continue to make more products, products, content for you. Make more products for you, like videos. I mean, it is a product, I guess, technically, but I, content I, I, for your viewing pleasure is what I was going for. Yep. Uh, <laughs> please, please hit the alg algorithm stuff if you're liking what you're seeing. Right, uh, it helps us out. So thank Help you. Watch us suffer as we fall through platforms again and again and again. Yeah. If you enjoy watching our failure at platforming, yes. uh, you can subscribe for more of it. That's right. Um, and check out our other videos as well. You know, we've got the Tea Time videos. We've got Liza P. We've got Persona 3 running right now. All kinds of stuff. So, mm -hmm. bound to find something you like uh, from previous videos or even current running series. Uh, but more than anything else, we're just glad to have you here. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day. We hope you were able to get a chuckle or two along the way out of this video and able to decompress from your busy day and hope you have a wonderful um, rest of your day. So, yeah. Until yep. then, we will see all you of all. That. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Until then, we'll see you all in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.